And you guys believe Christmas is just one week away. And if you are like me and still scrambling for some last minute gift ideas, why not try some independent and local fashion brands? There's everything from culturally inspired prints to unique silhouettes. But for one designer, fashion isn't just about what you wear. It's more about how it makes you feel. Take a look. I just stopped and humbled myself and really got closer to God. Keisha Hall founded Prayer and Hustle in 2016 after renewing her faith in God, and she hopes her clothing line inspires others to do the same. I just hope when people see it, it's like, okay, God first, and if not, and if not, like, if you don't believe in God, you believe in the universe, whatever, like, just put your faith in something bigger than you. Award-winning journalist Selena Hill was the muse for her latest collection. So I have four pieces in the Selena collection. Um, I love every single one, mostly because they're all environmentally sound and conscious. Um, I love the shirt dress because it's so versatile. Love the jacket as well. Um, it's a beautiful peach color, light fabric, but you can um, actually play with the drawstrings. For stylish stocking stuffers, Haitian-born designer Prajay Oscar has culturally inspired pieces. This is Tutan Louverture. He is the founder of the Free World Gonna Wear because he is a liberator of Haiti, the first um, black free republic, and that's him in this scarf here. Of course, we have a mask. The thing with a mask, we've done them to kind of fit your wardrobe. So oh. this is something you would wear to go on a nice event. It's beaded. And my masks are done reversible. And he hopes his new collection, Diome, uplifts his community. You are from Haiti, and it is a strong part of who you are, and it's a strong part of your designs. Uh, why is that? Why is it so important to represent your culture through fashion? We are these, that embroidery, that beading, that very fancy scarf. That's what the culture is. And as a designer, I feel like it is my duty to kind of help the story and the people of my country as well. Christina Nimley founded Ame at Emmy as a way to get back and give back to her roots. And the main focus of the brand was to put money back into my family in Africa. And it's made with care, it's made with love. It's very dear to my heart. Her cousin hand makes all of her designs in her home country, Ghana, and she's known for her unisex pieces. That's one thing that it's pretty big in Ghana. So we kind of played off of that. We created a linen unisex blouse um, that men could wear fitted and women can wear oversized for that relaxed look. What pieces would you say uh, make the perfect holiday gift this year? I would say the gold, the women's gold blouse. It's perfect. I've worn it with pants. I've worn it with a dress. Our collection is authentic and it's real and it's handcrafted in the motherland. What is better than that? <laughs> Oh, today is also Shop Black Business Friday, an initiative launched by City Council Majority Leader Sherelle Parker to help support and promote small businesses part of that community, which have been closing at nearly twice the rate of other businesses nationally. So we've got more information about all of those black-owned fashion brands that we highlighted in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app.